Buzz, welcome to Taste Test. This week we'll be doing the old Canadian version of the Lay's Do Us a Flavor. Will they beat the Americans? Well, the Americans didn't set the bar too high, so it's not going to be too hard to beat them, but we'll see. All right, let's look at the contestants, shall we? Up first, we've got jalapeno mac and cheese, cinnamon bun, bacon poutine, and last but not least, we have tzatziki. I'm not looking forward to tzatziki. Oh. All right, let's just dive right in. No particular order. First up, we got cinnamon bun. I don't know how good cinnamon bun is on a chip, but man, do I ever love cinnamon buns when they first come out of the oven. Oh, they're so good with milk. Oh. All right, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about in a chip. Let's open these up. Oh, when you first smell them, they do smell like cinnamon buns. Wow. Interesting. There's the chips. Plain old chips, not rippled. Oh, yeah, I want to tell you guys, these these bags in Canada, 66-gram bags, four for $10. The American versions I did last week, almost 300 grams, four for $10. Thanks for gouging us, Canadian stores. All right, rant off. All right, here we go. Cinnamon bun. This should be interesting. Hmm. Oh. They do taste like cinnamon bun. They're not bad, but it doesn't belong on a chip. It belongs on a plate fresh from the oven. These aren't too, too bad, but only a couple of these and I'd be done with these. Not bad, though. I still got the taste of mango salsa from last week. Ugh, those aren't bad. So far, I'm all right. Next up, we've got jalapeno mac and cheese. Now, last week on the American version, they had a cheddar bacon mac and cheese. How different or similar are these? And isn't it weird that they have a mac and cheese in both countries? Hmm. Interesting. This is just... Oh, this is a ripple. That's good. Plus one already. I love ripple. You got to have a chip you can dip. If you don't have a chip you can dip, what's the sense? You don't want to dive in and then next thing you know, your fingers are all in the dip trying to get the chip that broke off. Oh, anyways. All right. There's a chip. There you go. Nice and rippled. This is jalapeno mac and cheese. Let's take a taste, shall we? Hmm. I can taste the jalapeno a bit, but you know what? I think the cheddar bacon mac and cheese from the United States one is better. There's a little bit of hotness in the back of your throat once you eat the chip, a little bit. I still don't get the mac, uh, uh, the, the mac uh, macaroni part. I do taste a little bit of the cheese, a little, a little bit of the uh, jalapeno. There's a little bit of burn in the back of the throat. Overall, not too, too bad. Again, this blows away mango salsa and that other crappy flavor from last week. Not bad. So far, the Canadians are owning it up against the Americans. All right. Number three, tzatziki. Now, I don't know if you guys know what tzatziki is, but it's used in Greek food. It's basically strained yogurt. And then they put cucumbers and spices all in there, and they use it in, as dips and stuff. I don't know how this is going to taste on a chip. Cross your fingers that it tastes like sour cream and onion. Let's take a good old whiff and see what it smells like. Oh, it doesn't smell good. It smells like cucumbers and, and yogurt. Oh, these are what? These are kettled? Oh, they're even kettled. That's the worst one for me. All right. Here's the bag. Kettle chips. Molly looks interested. Hey, you want some of these? Don't worry. You're going to get all kinds after I'm done. All right. There's a kettle chip. Got a little peanut butter sandwich thing going. That's what I call chips that are flipped over. I call them peanut butter sandwiches. All right. Anyways. Oh, here we go. Oh, you can taste the cucumber. Oh, these are horrible. Tzatziki to crappy. Ugh. 
Oh, these are horrible. All right, these are getting up there close to the mango salsa ones. Oh, you can taste. You see that? Yogurt and cucumber, that's what you taste. Not a very good chip to be eating on a regular basis. Oh, fail. Epic fail. Oh, I need some water after that one. Oh. Oh, that's horrible. Oh. All right. Last but not least, bacon poutine. Now, like I said, if you watched my Toronto vlog, you're going to know what poutine is. But for those that did it, better watch. But for those who haven't yet, poutine is basically, basically fries, gravy, and cheese all mixed together. Oh, it's glorious. It's so good. And sometimes they add hamburger or whatever, bacon. This one is bacon. Putin. As you can see, they've got the fries and the gravy and the cheese and a little strip of bacon here. I wish these suckers would have been rippled. But hey. All right. Hopefully I saved the best for last. Let me see what it smells like. Oh, it smells like... It smells like roast chicken. I don't know if the States has roast chicken flavor. But in Canada, we have a flavor called roast chicken. And that's what it smells like right away. There's the bag. Regular old chips. Hey, reach in and grab one, bud. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't be, don't be shy. All right. Myself a good chip here. There's a chip. Plain old chip. Should have been rippled. For those that are going to enter this contest next year, always go rippled. Please. Okay, here we go. Bacon, poutine. Hmm, not bad. I can taste the bacon. It tastes like a bacon-flavored roast chicken. That's what it tastes like. Not too bad. I don't really get the flavor of poutine. I get more of simulated bacon and roast chicken flavors mashed together. Not too bad. All right. Let's rank these suckers from worst to first. I think we all can guess what the worst one is. Can you guess? Hey, Molly, you want some? I'll give you some in a sec. <laughs> all right, well, number four, the worst one according to me, is tzatziki. Cucumber, oh, does not belong on a chip. Gross. Save yourself Whatever the money is going to cost you to try these, save yourself the agony. Don't bother. All right. Number two, or I should say number three, from worst to first, cinnamon bun. It smells like cinnamon bun. It even tastes a little bit like cinnamon bun. But cinnamon bun has no business being on a chip. Take it out of the oven, put it on a plate like that. That, that Pillsbury Doughboy, woohoo, yeah. Now that's wh where you should have cinnamon bun. On a chip, you can have three or four maybe. If you really like sweet stuff, maybe five. After that, no. You will not buy this bag twice. All right, number two. Now this is, let me see, number two, I'm gonna give it to the jalapeno mac and cheese. Not bad, I still think the cheddar uh, mac and cheese from the States was a little bit better than this one. This wasn't too, too bad. There's a little bit of burn in the back of your throat for like that type of thing. But overall, I think the American version of the mac and cheese was better than this one. I do have to give props that it was rippled. Thumbs up to Randall Littman for that. He did something right. But overall, not bad. I'll give it number two. So your winner, by default... Here you go. Bacon poutine. Now, I know I'm Canadian, and I know, oh, taste, you're Canadian. You're only picking poutine because it's a Canadian food, and you're used to this. No, I'm picking it because it tastes the best of the four. That's why I'm picking it. It has a little bit of simulated bacon and roast chicken mashed together. Now, as far as buying these chips on a regular basis... Gotta say, just like the American versions, you're not going to find these suckers around too long. They just aren't good enough to cut it to stay in your main staples of chips. 
You know, you're not going to see these beside barbecue and sour cream and onion and even regular. They're just not good enough. So there you go, Bacon Boutin's your winner. Bing, 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 bing. Uh, as far as the contest goes, it might be close between this and the mac and cheese. If one of these two doesn't win, like I said, it's rigged. It has to be. The other two aren't even close to this one and the mac and cheese. But I think this one is going to win. We shall see. All right, buds, there you go. You got the human side of the thing, but what does the canine? What does Molly think of the chips? Let's do a little experiment. I'm going to put one of each chip out on the floor, and we're going to see which chip Molly goes to first, second, third, and fourth. Ho, ho, ho. What do you think she's going to pick? All right, silly willies, I see you. You ready for your taste test? Now you stay there while I go show the buds the chips. Okay, right there is the, the mac and cheese one. That's tzatziki. That is the bacon poutine. And that is the cinnamon bun. All right, so let's see. Are you ready? You ready? Okay, go on, go on. Go on, go see which one are you gonna get? Oh, he went right to the mac and cheese. Molly. Nope. You don't like that mac and cheese one? Huh? Oh, oh, there. Oh, there we go. I wonder if she's going to go right down the line. Probably. This is probably biased. But she's having the mac and cheese. She's having a good time. All right. What's next? You want that one? No? You skipping that one? What about this one? What about that one? Hmm? No? She's trying the tzatziki. Oh! She's eating the tzatziki. <laughs> what do you think? Now the bacon poutine is next. Looks like she's just going right down the line. She has no preference. Well, she seemed to like the tzatziki. What do you think of the bacon poutine, huh? What do you think of that? Let's get right down and see you. Let's get right down to the floor. Oh, she's going for the cinnamon bun. Well, there you go. She liked them all in no particular order. And she's licking up the crumbs. Thanks, Molly. You did great. Now give the buds a big old smile, will ya? <laughs> Well, there you go, everyone. Another taste test in the books. Next week, we'll be sampling some Brazilian treats that my family brought back from their recent trip to Brazil. That should be interesting. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Subscribe to become a taste bud today, and I'll see you all back here in the next one. Until then, as always, my name is Taste. Bye-bye.